So for today, our topic will be three must-have apps for restaurant owners. So there's so many helpful apps out there that make it easier than ever for owners to run a business on the go straight from their phone if they want to. Uh, but with so many to choose from, it may be difficult to narrow down exactly what you need. Uh, that's why we compiled a list for you uh, for those of you who want to run a more efficient operation. So the first app that we're going to talk about is Hootsuite. So what does Hootsuite do? So it allows bar and restaurant owners or any small business owner to manage multiple social media accounts all in one place. So you can manage your Instagram, you can manage your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and YouTube all from one spot. So why is this important? Well, rather than trying to post manually every single day to all of these platforms, you can do it all at once just from Hootsuite. So what makes this great is um, you can use the same post for multiple platforms if you would like. Uh, so one word of caution I would say with this though is every platform does have best image sizes. So the posting so maybe the same image may not always show up well. So say for example, Facebook, their optimal image size would be 1200 pixels by 628 pixels. For Instagram, their optimal width is uh, 1080 and you can go anywhere from uh, 566 to 350 height. Uh, and then with LinkedIn, their optimal size is 1200 by 628. And then with Twitter, they have a very different size, uh, which is 1024 uh, by 512. So let's say, for example, if I wanted to post an image uh, to Facebook at, you know, say whatever size I put on it on Facebook, um, it's going to show up much differently on Twitter. So it, if you're looking to uh, be more specific with your image sizes and you're posting through Hootsuite, um, another side app you can possibly use is Canva. So Canva is a very basic digital graphic design um, tool that you can use to create, let's say you have one image, you can change the different sizes, you can put a quick overlay over it, uh, make it look really professional. If you don't really care about uh, that being an issue, uh, you can just post the image size using Hootsuite, you can use the same uh, text for all of your posts, and you can say, I want to send this to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter all right now, uh, and then you can go ahead and schedule that out. Um, so as I said, one of the great tools about this too is being able to schedule your posts in advance. So through Hootsuite, Instead of having to manually go to Facebook and post, say, every single day or every couple days uh, to each platform, I can actually post uh, multiple posts uh, in weeks or months ahead. So let's say you have a downtime, you can go ahead and post maybe all of your content, say, for example, if you're having uh, music and you're having multiple artists throughout the month, you can post something about it uh, you know, multiple days in advance. Or let's say you have an idea of what your specials are gonna be like for that week. I could post everything on Sunday and have all my specials go out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday without actually having to manually post those on each of those days. So this is a really helpful tool to managing all of your social media. Um, and then the last great benefit of this is you have all of your analytics in one place. So instead of figuring out which posts are doing best by going to Facebook and then to Instagram, I can see straight in Hootsuite um, all of my analytics. So let's say I have one post that I send out to Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram all at the same time. I can see, okay, maybe this post is doing best on Instagram, or maybe the type of things that I'm posting um, on Instagram are much better. So instead, I'll just keep using Instagram and maybe spend less time using Facebook. Uh, there are multiple alternatives for this. There's multiple social media ma management tools you can use based on what you're looking to try to do. Right, so there is other options such as Buffer, Sendable, and Sprout Social. They all tend to do about the same thing, um, but they have different price points and, and have different uh, options and features that are best for certain types uh, of, of bars or industries. The next app I want to talk about is BevSpot. BevSpot. So what BevSpot does is it takes inventory, it can place orders, and it can analyze sales data all in one platform. You can do this just on your phone. So according to a 2019 uh, restaurant success report by Toast POS, 51% of restaurant owners listed high operation and food costs as their biggest challenge. So inventory apps like BevSpot uh, allow you to have a complete understanding of what your food and beverage situation looks like at any given moment, straight on your phone. Uh, so one of the great uh, benefits of, of these types of apps is an interactive inventory calculator. So you can take all of your inventory directly on the mobile device. And they even have an option for offline mode. So even without a mobile connection, cloud-based apps like this um, let you keep counting even when you don't have a connection. So let's say, for example, you have a really big uh, walk-in freezer, but you're not gonna get um, 
you're not going to get service inside of there. Or let's say you have a wine cave or you keep some of your supplies in a basement where you're not getting good service. You can still count all of your inventory without the connection. And then once you have a connection, it'll upload to the database. Um, so that's a great option for you or a great tool that you'll have. There's also customized tracking options. So you can keep your data as accurate as possible with flexible units and settings that are going to match your reporting needs. Uh, so say, for example, you have some type of beverages that are in fluid ounces, you have other beverages that are in milliliters, um, or let's say you just want to base your inventory on if the bottle's half full, if the bottle's two quarters full, um, or if you have a box of something, it's only partially full. You can actually just do it based on that. So it gives you a lot of flexibility with what works best for you and your business. And then finally, usage reports and analytics are, are a great tool in this. Uh, so they provide regular reports. You can see what ingredients are being used and where you're wasting money. So let's say you have a certain type of beer or beverage that's being used way more. Uh, you can actually see that with these types of reports or other, other inventory that's not being used. You can actually pull back uh, your, your spending on that. So last, the last uh, app we're going to talk about is Review Trackers. So Review Trackers aggregates business reviews from 100 plus review sites all in one dashboard. So why is this important? Well, according to Upserve, 92% uh, of consumers read reviews and 77% would actually prefer peer reviews to critic reviews. So 77% of people would rather see a review from just a random person on a random night than actually see a, let's say, a claimed food critics review. 33% would never eat at a restaurant that has less than four stars. And then 90% of guests research a restaurant before they're dining there in some way, shape, or form. This is more than any other business type. So you can see reviews are huge and managing these is a big part of owning a restaurant or bar. So using an app like Review Trackers, you can track all of your reviews in one place. So you can have everything, uh, all of your Yelp reviews, your Google reviews, Facebook, Reddit, TripAdvisor, Grubhub, and many, many more. You can all do that in one place rather than having to go to every different place to respond to the reviews. Uh, this allows you to respond quickly to guest reviews. Um, so you can easily check the reviews and respond right away. So you can thank your guests uh, for, you know, if they give you a raving review and love your service, or you can address issues with customers who have had less than a stellar experience. This also will allow you to better understand your customer experience. So review trackers can actually analyze the customer experience, even zeroing in on the specific words and phrases that are most used in your reviews to understand the pain points or what's working best. So let's say you have a specific dessert or a specific uh, drink that a bartender is making that people are really interested in. It'll show you how many times they've actually mentioned those specific things. Well, let's say, for example, uh, they talk often about, hey, every time I go into this place, the restroom is never clean. Uh, it'll actually zero in on the word restroom and you can see what people are saying about those specific things. So I hope this has been useful uh, for many of you out there. Uh, we really appreciate you listening. We're gonna have more of these bite-sized episodes where we're giving you um, everything that you need to be very successful uh, in the bar and restaurant industry. Uh, again, this is the Industry Buzz powered by Buzz Time. We appreciate your time. I'm Adam Marson. We'll see you again soon.